Hello clinicians in private practice and other people who are awesomely watching these videos. Thank you so much for letting me know that you're getting so much benefit out of these videos even though you're not a clinician. I've had this gorgeous solicitor get in touch with me and say, do you only help clinicians? I think I could learn a lot from you. So that's always nice feedback to have. How was your day today? It is currently Wednesday the 2nd of August. Now I had to think about that because I thought that I would have my time zones right to actually jump on a webinar that was happening in the afternoon of the 2nd of August. However, it's on the east coast of the USA and I got that really, really wrong and I'm going to be sound asleep at the time that that webinar is running. So yay for me and yay for not reading things properly. Have you ever had one of those days when it's a suck it up princess day? I, I actually spoke to my very, very good friend this morning who has written an opt-in, as in written a ebook or a guide or something that is basically the guide to being to the suck it up princess. She hasn't done anything with it, but I just think it's a really, really interesting concept because how many of you know, or well, how many of us know that when you're the business owner, when you're the person in charge, when you're the one who's taking all the risk, when you're the one who wants all the freedom, flexibility and fulfillment, when you're the one who is working freaking hard all the time and carrying the weight of this thing, that sometimes we just need to suck it up. There are things that we have to let go of and we need to just suck it up. So you know, we fantasize, I think, at times about just going and getting a job. And that would be awesome for about a minute because pretty soon we would see that number one i won't want to wear the uniform uh, and number two i would make a really bad employee now because i'm going to question everybody in authority and go why are we doing it that way that's pretty silly i don't like following everybody else's rules for goodness sake i don't even like following my own rules <laughs> so i know i'm ruined for employment so i just need to suck stuff up sometimes sometimes everything it's just not going to go my way and it's not going to go much, despite how much homework you do, despite how much research you do, despite how much advice you get, despite how many people tell you, yeah, that's an awesome idea, let's make that happen. There are some days when you just got to suck up the fact that it wasn't the right time, it wasn't the right place, it wasn't the right thing, you're not the right person. And again, you need to understand that that's not a reflection of who you are as a person. It's just the timing, the situation, the circumstances, the lack of knowledge, the lack of whatever. So I've had one of those days, can't you tell? <laughs> but it's actually been a really, really well paced day today. That's two days in a row that have been really well paced, which I love. And I got up this morning and went for my walk and I'm on to my fourth bottle of water for the day, which is fantastic because I've drunk a lot of coffee today. And I got to speak to one of my absolutely fabulous building coach, uh, practice building clients today. And they're always fun. And I had to have a hard, tough discussion with her about what we need to do now and how we need to plan for the future. And that's not always easy because what we want to do now that makes us feel good, that takes the pressure off us because it gets rid of an intense emotion, isn't necessarily the right thing that we need to do for our future. It might feel good in the moment, but it's not going to feel good in the future. Hmm, kind of sounds like the Tim Tams that we think are going to make us feel good in the moment, but we know they're not going to make us feel good in the future. Hmm, probably a blog post in there about that. Anywho, uh, yeah, so my team today, they were excellent and awesome. And it's not because they did excellent and awesome work. It's because the way they went about their work, that was excellent and awesome. And I have a culture of excellence in my business and I expect people to behave and respond with excellence. That doesn't mean perfection. That means that we will do things with grace and dignity. We will hold ourselves to a higher standard. So today, one of my team members admitted that a mistake had been made. And I was, I didn't want to have to tell this person that the mistake had been made. Um, in the past, I have actually fixed mistakes and pretended that they have never, never happened. I know, not very mature, 
but sometimes it just feels easier if you go and fix it and do it all yourself, right? Hmm, don't tell me I'm alone here. But this time I actually brought it to this person's attention and this person did the right thing and the noble thing and the excellent thing and said, that is my error, I am going to fix it. And I can't tell you the relief that washed over me by going, this is such a good fit for this business. Those, Because I take ownership. When I make a mistake, I'm the first person to go, oops, made a mistake. Um, have you ever read my spelling or my typos? I make mistakes. And then I had another team member come, come to me today. Now, we had a lot of pressure on our service level agreements and our contracts for, from our insurance com company clients around timeframes. It's not the smartest thing to measure great performance on, but they've decided that they need to measure us on timeframes. And that's okay. It's just the soup that we swim in and it's just doing what we do. And this particular consultant, never, ever, we never have an issue with her work. Well, actually we do. We have an issue with her work when clients don't want to engage because she actually challenges them and doesn't let them keep enabling really poor behavior. So that's when people go, hmm, don't think I want to work with her anymore. Anywho, she came to me today and said, look, I'm on top of most things. There's a couple of things that I've, I've let slide because I've been really, really unwell. And I can't tell you how much that helps me as a manager of people, as a leader in my business, to actually know that I have my clients back, but they have my back around those details. Because most of us as clinicians got out of corporate world and agency work and hospital based work because the admin and the little bits of tasks that felt meaningless and pointless and kept us away from doing the clinical work ate us up inside. And then we get into this thing called practice building. And as your practice grows, and if you bring clinicians or multiple income streams into your business, there's more and more cogs of the wheel and there's more and more components that need to be managed. And all of a sudden you find yourself needing to decrease your clinical workload so that you can actually put time into the things that help you grow or maintain your growth. So for me today, that was an amazing experience, knowing that a mistake had been made and somebody's not going to hit timeframes. But it helps me to go, my team is excellent and they are the right people to be working in this business at this time. I know I rave about my team a lot, but you know what? It took me a long time to build the culture of this place. And I am so proud of the people who partner with me inside of Purple Co. The other thing I've been working on this week is a document, information piece, ebook white paper, position paper, a thing that explains our model or our understanding in Purple Cove, why we do what we do and how we do what we do is different and why that matters. So I'm really proud of this thing because I've been putting off completing it. I, you know, I think I started in February and it's now August um, because, you know, perfectionism and What's that other thing that we all love to do that's self-sabotaging when we compare ourselves to everyone out there and we feel like we're never going to be good enough? That has been going on for me. Awesome. Don't like that. That really bugs me. All right. I don't know what just happened then, but some weird stuff came on my screen. So tomorrow I get to go and meet with a brand new Purple Co. client. And I'm looking forward to that because it's been a long time. It's been a while now since I've actually seen a new client and have the opportunity to help someone engage with how we help people return to work, especially when they've been ill and they want to preserve some components of their career, but need to learn to do it in a way that's healthy for them and sustainable. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. So this is private practice. I have no idea what the takeaways are from tonight because I feel like I've been rabbiting on, but I'm hungry. So I'm not going to try and work it out and I'm going to go upstairs and raid the kitchen before my son gets home. So have a fabulous day, everybody. Looking forward to talking to you again very soon.